Well, now to the other big story of the day, the latest on two officers shot in northeast Baltimore. Those officers were part of a federal task force, and they are still recovering from their injuries at this hour. WJZ first reported there's an investigation into whether the suspect ever fired his weapon. New this hour, we're hearing from that man's mother. We have live team coverage. We began with WJZ investigator Mike Kelgren at city police headquarters with the new interview. Mike. Vic and Denise, Michael Marullo's mom says she spoke to him yesterday before the shooting, but she had no inkling that anything was wrong until she later got a call from her local newspaper in Scranton, Pennsylvania. Tonight, she is calling for a full investigation into what happened. The mother of Michael Marullo identified her son as the man shot and killed while police were serving a warrant on his home in Northeast Baltimore Wednesday. Everything is just spinning for me right now. The police didn't tell us anything. She told WJZ she's not been allowed to access his apartment. I just want to get to the bottom of this. I'm, I'm a mother on the mission here right now. Two officers, one from Baltimore City and one from Baltimore County, were wounded in the incident. WJZ has learned there was no exchange of gunfire between police and the suspect. Right now, police are still trying to determine how the officers were wounded. This is part of an active and ongoing investigation. Questions surround whether the suspect ever fired his weapon. At some point, this suspect was outside. What we know now is that shots were fired. Our officers were hit. The suspect was hit and was uh, fatally wounded from his gunshot wounds. This video shows police rushing in and what appears to be the suspect come out of the apartment building, his arm outstretched, running toward police. The video cuts off just as the gunfire erupts. I'm proud to be his mother. Despite everything, there are things that just aren't making sense here. Marullo was wanted in connection with a shooting the night before in Lower Chichester Township near Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and was facing nine charges. The governor identified him as a former Maryland corrections official. His mother now just wants answers. If I could just get to find the bottom of this for my son, he, he, was, a, he was a great kid. I, I'm telling you, something just had, something just happened here, and I want to find out what it is. But I want to bring him home first. The commissioner tells us there was only one suspect in the case. Police have not provided any new updates since yesterday afternoon. Live at City Police Headquarters, Mike Helgren, WJZ. Mike, thank you. The Sedonia neighborhood where the shooting happened is quiet today, but people still are talking about it. Paul Gessler is live at the Garden Village Apartments where he heard from residents today. Paul? Hi, Vic. Yeah, just within the past hour or so, we saw maintenance crews fixing some shutters here on one of the buildings where this happened. Much different from yesterday's scene and the law enforcement presence here. Wednesday in Sedonia. It's chaos. It's crazy. Countless police in the air. There's a lot of police cars out here. On the ground. It's crazy. Stretching for blocks. They had everything blocked off. Everything roads, bus routes. I was just shocked that that happened, like out of nowhere. That, a police shooting, serving a warrant midday at Garden Village Apartments. This video shows the aftermath and one of the wounded officers receiving aid. You see all these shots firing everywhere and people telling you to take cover. As you look around, where are you going to take cover at? Tracy it's Hankins says he heard dozens of shots. It was just crazy because you can hear the shots and everybody running around. Today, it just seemed like Nothing never happened. Thursday, calm sets in. A few signs remain from Wednesday's shootout. They're not doing what they need to do to get control of this city. It's just getting worse and worse and worse. Now, some say they're keeping a closer eye on relatives who live here. I was telling my grandma, like, it's time for you to move. It's unsafe. I'm scared. Now, it's striking the difference in witness accounts. We've talked to a number of people who were here yesterday. Some people said the, the gunshots were in the number of dozens. It sounded like a bomb. Other people telling me they were in the building next door and didn't hear a thing. Reporting live from Sedonia in Northeast Baltimore this evening, I'm Paul Gessler for WJZ. Thank you, Paul. And, of course, WJZ will continue to follow all of the developments in this story. We'll keep you updated on the suspect, the officers, and the investigation.